Today I wanted to take you through a quick guide to clear your scratch discs. So if you're using Photoshop or some of the Adobe software, you'll find that every now and then you'll get a little message saying your scratch discs are full and you can't you can't edit. Now you can go up into here through preferences down into scratch discs um, and you can see in there and if you go into performance you can adjust the parameters which will dictate how fast or how slow your scratch discs um, build up. Now what you do want to do with this, if I just cancel that and come back out, don't save, one of the things we want to be looking at is the caches that Adobe creates whilst you're in the process of using the software. Now these caches are designed to allow things to render faster and allow the process to be a whole smoother, but over a period of time they will build up and it's essential that you, you clear these down just to make life a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Go in the top hand corner and then we're going to push the Alt key. Now this is on a Mac, if you're on a PC you just push Options. By pushing Alt key you see that we have Library. We then go into Library. From here what we want to look for is Application Support. Then through here, we have all of the applications and the relevant support, but we want to click on Adobe. And then in here, you go down to Common. So once you click on Common, you can see that you have Media Cache Files, which are these guys here. Now, these are the caching files that are going to take up memory in your precious computer. So what you can do is happily highlight all of these and move to Trash. Get rid of those. You know, thousand items there. Media cache again in here. Control all. Move the trash. Get rid of those. Now that's going to clear up significant amount of space. But what we can actually do as well is clear some additional space. So what we want to do is go back to the beginning. So we go back to up to go. Hold the Alt key to get library. We then go down to caches. So when we're in caches, we then look at the Adobe cache. Now you can see here that there's caches for all sorts of applications and there'll be loads in there that you can clear to sort of just be careful what you do clear. So what I am going to do on here is I've gone to Adobe um, and then you've got all of the Adobe um, softwares basically. So you can see that like, I had Rush there. Um, you've got the, the application version type support. There's no cache there. Premiere Pro. You can see that there's nothing being cached there. Um, and then I would imagine Lightroom is probably, and Photoshop is where um, we're going to get those. So, go media, After Effects, Cache Disk, hardly anything in there. And that's because I don't really use um, these pieces of software. So, that's pretty great for me. Media Cache, there we go. So, this is in Lightroom, got Media Cache here. Um, and I'm just going to strip those back, go to delete, control all, delete, just clear up some space and yeah, I just want to make sure uh, Adobe InDesign, see what I've got going on, yep, good there, and yeah, that pretty much goes a little bit. So we've got all those. Uh, I'll just clean those up as well. I'll just get rid of some of that noise, and you can see there, there's a significant amount in there. This is just going to help free up some space on the system and stop you getting those pop-up messages um, about scratch disks and all that sort of stuff. Um, and hopefully we'll just make Photoshop a more delightful experience to use. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's taught you a thing or a few. It's pretty straightforward and something worth doing. Now Max tend to maintain their selves. You don't really have to do much, but this is something you can do to just speed up the process. And don't forget, once you've done that, head over to Trash and empty your trash can. And then I'd advise to probably restart the computer as well. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, hit the subscribe button. If you've got any questions, like you're stuck technically, give me a shout and I can give you some sort of feedback on them. If you know another alternative to freeing up your scratch discs, pop a comment down below and I will see you all next time. Take care.